Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Welcome to another video here on Roverland. This is your friend Dan O, and uh, we got a video for you today. Um, uh, recent days here, we've been, uh, doing some, uh, customs and guess what's next. Yeah. For 2019. Yeah. This is a new one. <laughs> I can't believe what is that? Three years old already. All right. We have the, uh, Land Rover Range Rover Velar. And, uh, this one here, uh, came out in 2019. They made a gazillion of these silver ones. And today we're going to make that bugger into a convertible. Yes, yes. So interestingly enough, uh, we I did some uh, looking around and uh, yeah, here's, here's some quick pictures of uh, some that I found on the internet. As you see, there's uh, quite a, well, not so many, but there's some older ones and uh, kind of a newer one there. Uh, pretty interesting. So, uh, here at Roverland, we're going to do our own little custom. So, right away, what we do is, I already had one drilled out, and uh, the, the front uh, post is metal, but the back one is plastic. So, if you go to drill that out, be very careful. Your uh, drill bit will catch that and uh, want to really run out and uh, uh, damage stuff. So, so first things first, I make a back tawny cover for the back because, as you see, that uh, open cab we have uh, uh, that post goes through the interior. So let's take a look at uh, putting together the the tawny cover for the back. All right. Um, yeah, enjoy the music. Alrighty, so now that we've got the back taken care of, uh, we're going to deal with the windshield. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut across here, we're going to trim the, the sides here, we're kind of going along with the molded um, A pillar there, and across the top there where the sunroof kind of meets the top pillar or roof panel there. And so yeah, take a look at this little video of how I do that. A lot of sanding, filing, and uh, using the blade on that. So let's, uh, once again, enjoy the music. We'll be right back. All right, there it is. So we've got it all done and complete. Um, yeah, so let's kind of see where we're at. We're gonna come on down here and take a look at this bugger. Here she is, yeah. So this is it. This is kind of the uh, finished product. Uh, I just kind of trimmed that uh, post there and kind of set that on there. So this is kind of what we started with. <laughs> and this is what we've got, ba-bam check it out check it out so i'm really uh happy with the way the uh windshield turned out as you see the uh side mirrors kind of hold it in to place and then there's a peg uh on the front there that uh, goes inside there so it's kind of really 
kind of nice that peg goes into the interior there piece and is held so it's kind of looped along there now this one i didn't uh drill and tap the hole but there we are so the only thing is left to do is we have to get this stark white uh bugger to uh not be so stark and white right i'm gonna crank down here a little bit longer so i thought well just a quick and easy thing is as we can uh, use this black marker and uh wait a minute that's gonna look crazy black on there it's a tan interior on a silver car so guess what i remembered but bam there's a two-pack that you can get from walmart and it's a bronze metallic and a silver metallic these are sharpies so i'm like dude why would i do that so let's just go ahead and kind of do that while we're talking here this i wish it was a, a fatter uh felt tip you know but hey we do what we can so anyway while i paint this i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, can give me a thumbs up this might take a little bit so uh and it's yeah and you want to kind of do it like in a paint paint uh, strokes so you can kind of get rid of all your uh and i might think my pen is getting a little uh worn out too but uh yeah hold on a second let me kind of finish this off camera so we can get a nice finished look all right hold on a second all righty so there you go this and this is just a quick and dirty little uh custom that i did uh just to kind of show you guys just a little bit of uh yeah, just what you can do and have fun with a Hot Wheels and make it your own custom convertible. So there you go. So yeah, kind of a neat little project that I did today uh, for you on a Monday. And uh, yeah, very, very sharp. I really I really like how the windshield turned out. I, I was really kind of, I guess, you know, thinking back, you know, I didn't remember that those side mirrors help kind of hold that in there so that's nice it's nice you know so yeah so there you go ladies and gentlemen a uh, nice little custom range rover velar i hope you guys enjoyed the music and, <laughs> and we're still working on our quality control here for uh putting videos together and i hope you guys enjoy it uh make sure you give me a big thumbs up here's my big thumb give me a big thumbs up come on over to facebook and uh, let me know uh, some of your customs that you do, all right? Yeah, pretty, pretty neat. All right, that's it. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, never great rover day.